guys. I'm gonna weigh myself. You guys can see. Yeah, I'm gonna weigh myself. Um, Hello everyone, today is Friday, for sure, yes, it's Friday, <laughs> um, and I was editing the vlog, but then I noticed that, um, instead of just having me, like, sit down and talk for each vlog about essentially the same thing, um, I'd rather just put it in like one concise video because it just made more sense to me. So that is what I'm doing. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that is what we will be talking about today. Um, as you guys saw, I weighed myself for you guys. I think I was like 167.8, something like that. more in depth on that too but yeah so let's get started so I think I've been pretty early still to my fitness journey like it's almost gonna be a year uh, probably it's like in October it's gonna be a year but um, I think I don't have all the answers to everything, so, you know, I don't ever sit here and say, like, this is exactly what you have to do to lose weight or to gain muscle. Like, I don't really know. I'm, like, working this out with you guys. So, I will say it is discouraging sometimes when you get on the scale and the numbers don't change. Um... I've gotten to a point where I'm just like, you know, screw, screw the, like, like, fuck the weight, like, fuck it, like, fuck the scale, like, I'm not even gonna try, <laughs> because, um, I'm also building muscle, and your weight can fluctuate every day, and technically, like, you never know what you're actually and unless you get like a DEXA scan or something, you really don't know what's your actual weight. So, yeah, it's just like, I'm going to weigh myself now every two months. Literally, maybe even less than that because I just don't like relying on it. And I'd rather just be okay with like how my clothes feel, how I feel. And you also have to get some context. Like, this is after I ate a bunch of crap yesterday. <laughs> so, and, and like, like a week or two ago, my doctor said I was 170. So this is what I'm saying. Like, your weight fluctuates so much that the scale isn't really uh, reliable source for, like, your, like your progress in your fitness journey. With that, a lot of things have changed for me. I used to put sugar in everything. Everything, everything you think of, I would put sugar. Coffee, sugar. Um, not necessarily water, I would put sugar. But like anything cereal, I would put sugar. Like every time I would go out to get um, a latte or something, it would have like pumps of sugar in it. And that has changed for, changed for me so much because now I don't even think about it. I'm like, no, like I don't really want sugar. Or I'll just tell them like, no sugar. And I think that is one way you should measure your progress. You know, old me would have been like, I'm gonna put like three cups of sugar in this. Like I used to get uh, the Dunkin' Donuts uh, caramel latte, and on top of the caramel and the whipped cream, I would put like packs and packs of sugar to make it sugary because I didn't like it without sugar. 
and I'm just glad that those are not the habits that I have now anymore. Like, I just don't have that anymore. However, I'm kind of in an experiment right now with myself, right? I haven't lost all the fat that I want to. Um, and it's because I'm trying to see if my body can handle like one cheat day you know like one day of me eating anything that i want a week right because when i do that i don't feel restricted and that's something that i've been trying to deal with since the beginning is trying to figure out how i can do this lifestyle without feeling restricted at all so yeah that's what I've been doing and it's taking me a while and it's why I'm kind of like just in the air there um, and that's why you know you might not see progress I mean I see like small progress but nothing crazy because usually everything happens in the summer I've had so many like emergencies this summer like and it just stops your whole day <laughs> and you just have to like deal with that and then deal with everything else and I think that's part of your fitness journey as well is just knowing that just because somebody had a linear skill which probably was not linear um of losing weight doesn't mean that that's gonna be you you know you don't have the same lifestyle that they do they might have had no emergencies they might have had you know they might have been working less or they had they might have more resources than you uh, they might have a different personality and a better, better handled situations that could conflict with their fitness journey I tend to not compare myself to anyone because of that because I don't know what they're going through and they don't know what I'm going through so knowing that I think you can kind of figure out where I'm going with this and it's just that you will see <laughs> progressively just like my decrease in like figuring stuff out <laughs> um, when I just start getting to, to understand things I'm gonna say I'm gonna give myself a month so probably at the end of the summer I'll probably get it together like, I'll probably you know that's like what like five weeks of this experiment and like from there I can kind of get in the soul of things um, I've also stated before, I don't know if I put it in a, in a vlog or not, but I do well with schedules and right now I don't have like a designated schedule and I'm not trying to make excuses of course, but um, because I don't have a schedule, I feel like I, like working out feels weird to me because it's just like whatever time that I want, want it to be, whereas when I was in school I had a designated time where I would go to work out and I feel like if I have that with a schedule I'll be more inclined to work out not that I don't want to work out but like with everything that happens while I'm here and stuff like that I am less inclined to work out so for example I had an emergency this week actually two emergencies this week and I had an interview and like all those things led me and they were all different days so all those things led me to not work out because I had to stop my day to do that stuff and again not necessarily that it's a bad thing it is not you know it's just part of life but I'm just saying like if you feel like you're not there yet or you're taking too long to get there I just want to let you know that you can take all the time you need. This is a lifestyle change. A life 
my style change. Not a like two, three day change. Not a year or two years. A lot like like 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 years changing. Meaning that you for those 40 years more than 10, 20, 30 years to change your life completely. Like to change your eating habits. And I think that that's something that social media really like messes us up with because we feel like we have to lose a certain amount of weight by a certain amount of time. And that's not true. It's not. And like I'm and like like I know I always mention her, but I love seeing her stuff. Like, Christy Butter is a great example of that. She's not losing weight in any sort of timing. Like, she doesn't have a certain time where she wants to lose the weight. She's just losing the weight as it goes. Because she knows it's a lifestyle. And it's just like, whenever it comes, it comes. Whenever she gets the body that she wants, she gets the body that she wants. And of course, you're going to have goals and stuff. And stuff that you want to work on, of course. Like, I always want to work on my arms, my abs, my legs. Like, those are always things that I want to work on. But I know that I have time for that and that that takes time. But losing fat and building muscle takes time. So, yes. So, I will be experimenting <laughs> by doing mukbangs and stuff. And showing you guys my fitness um, and yeah I hope you guys just stick with me with this journey and I hope you guys can see that this is the reality of things but yeah you could lose the weight in the year but the time you can relapse really easily if you do it like that if you lose a lot of weight in a short amount of time and that it's just better to lose it in a longer period of time but shorter intervals. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little talk. Uh, comment, like, subscribe, come join the fam. I hope that uh, this kind of has taken out a little bit of the worries of some people. If you're in a fitness journey or in a lifestyle journey and you're just like you know, you just feel discouraged because you see all these people losing weight and you're like, well, I'm not doing it in that time. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys see me for my mukbang on Sunday. Um, yeah. Bye.